Are you looking for the next craft beer to drink? Well, maybe Greenbush Red Bud is the one for you. Welcome everybody, I'm Brad. And I'm Steve. And today, go ahead Steve, you can do it all for it. <laughs> today, Brad is going to pour us uh, Greenbush Red Bud Ale, and this is a wheat ale. Uh, it clocks in at 6.1%, and the IBUs come right at uh, 28 IBUs, and you can tell it's uh, got a lot of carbonation to it. Um, this is also from our beer bracket that we just got done with. That's um, why it's open. That's, yes, that's why it's open. So all the beers that lose, and not that they're bad beers, we just do a review on. Yep. And we'll do an eventual review on the winner yep. as well. So. Yep, and I'll say it up front. Um, I'm guessing this is going to be almost the same as it was in the beer bracket. It is overcarb. Steve and I talked about we would like to try this beer without it being overcarbed. Yeah. Now, I don't know, uh, Greenbush's website's been down for a while now. Sure. So I don't know what they have untapped and what they don't. So if the if you're in the area and you want to check out a beer, I would say definitely check this one out. But we'll get into the review. Um, big head, white, off-white head, I should say. Big bubbles coming up, about a finger. Steve's got about four fingers. <laughs> Tons of bubbles coming up. Um, golden color, kind of hazy. Yeah, a little red hue to it. Yeah. Much. Smell? It smells fruity. Yeah, like a fruity... And that's weird. As we get into this, I'll let you know why, but yeah, it's weird that you're getting some fruitiness out of the smell of this mm -hmm. and not the wheat yeah yeah so okay taste maybe yeah still over carved yeah over carved again i'm i'm gonna stick with passion fruit like a kind of a passion fruit orange kind of taste than big wheat yeah and the wheat just sits there and i don't know if i'd like this beer if it wasn't over carved it's so hard to tell yeah because i'm yeah as soon as i get a beer that's over carved i'm turned off um yeah i agree with you i think there's some sort of fruitiness there and then you get smacked in the face with the wheat which isn't bad but i thought they used to put what it was made with on the side of the bottle and they didn't so the the thing that bothers me though is I've been a huge fan of Green Bush. Like I usually, I mean, there's Distorted Porter, yeah. they're Anger, Angry. they're, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> or Angry Anger. I don't, I don't yeah. remember which one it is, but Tractor. Yeah, they they got some good beers. It kind of reminds me of Shorts a little bit. Like they got some great yeah. beers. They put out weird ones, just not as often as Shorts. Yeah, Shorts is like every two weeks <laughs> you get like five new ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't want to. I want to knock them a little bit because it's overcarbed. I mean, this is what the public would have bought because that's right. what yeah. happened. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, it's like God. I wish I had this beer, you know, from their brewery or their tap house yeah. or whatever. Yeah. So I could officially judge it. But I, w I would go with a three point five. I still think. I like passion fruit orange and beers, and I think mixed with that wheat, it would be good. But because at the beginning of the palate, it's all that carbonation, all I'm getting is that little bit of citrus fruitiness, big wheat, and I'm turned off by mouthfuls of wheat. Yeah. <laughs> I, unfortunately, I'm going to have to agree with you on this one. 3.5 is what I would give, only because, same thing. Um, kind of hits you in the face, you know, the bubbles are dying down, which is nice, but that doesn't mean it's yeah. still not over right. carb. Right, right. Because once I put it in my mouth, it turns to bubbles. Right. So. Yep. Yeah, definitely one. If you're by the brewery, uh, stop by, have one. If you've had this, um, I'm guessing late 2017, early 2018, let us know if yours was over carbed. <clears throat> To see if it was a whole batch or what it was. Sure. Yeah. 
Uh, three of my friends have had it, average 3.58. A uh, little over 3,000 people have had this, average 3.49. It's all right around that 3.5. Yeah. So maybe we're not crazy. <laughs> right. But theirs probably weren't over carbs, so maybe we're scoring too high. Yeah. But it is um, not a bad beer. I mean, it's... Nice uh, and hoppy. Mm, it's uh? Middle of the road. I'd say it's a middle yeah. of the road beer. That could use a little under carbonation. <laughs> yeah, well, and that's the thing that I try and look for on on Untapped. If people say um, if it was overcarbed or something like that. Now, obviously, I don't do a good job because on all mine, I put review out soon. Mm. So I. I'm um, like devil's advocate. Like I want to see You're what, promoting. yeah, yeah. I want to see what people say, but I don't say, you know, I don't put what I say. So, um, yeah, let us know if yours was overcarbed, if you've had this recently, and if not, then maybe we should get another version of this and try it. I'd be happy to get yep. another try. Yep. Cool. So that'll wrap it up for this beer review. Until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Steve. Happy brewing. See you next time.